Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we will be painting a deserted castle, I guess, or maybe a castle where the witch from the previous day is living in. So I guess all the supplies and materials I will be using for this illustration are listed in the description box. If you want to check something out, you can find it there. I'm starting with the sketch and I'm just drawing directly onto my watercolor paper with this pencil. This is Faber and Castell HB pencil. I am drawing uh, three parts, three buildings for my castle. So the central one is the tallest, then the one on each side. And I also added some fencing and I decided to add a tree on the right side, just behind one of the smaller buildings. And when I was finished with my basic sketch, I did not do the details with pencil. I just went straight into inking and I'm using ink pen from Micron. This is 01 to go over my sketch and just do the basic inking for now. Also, I wanted to make the door look like there are some wooden boards on top of them. This castle is somewhat wonky and actually I guess the more uh, symmetrical, not symmetrical you make it, the better it will look at at least that's my opinion. I think you shouldn't be bothered to make it symmetrical, to make uh, windows perfect and doors perfect. Anything shouldn't be perfect. The more imperfect you make it to look, I believe it will be more to the idea, at least uh, the idea I had in mind when I was doing this castle. And also for the tile, or roof tile I wanted to make it look like maybe some parts are broken and missing so I've added a little bit more of the ink some black ink on top of some of them and also now I'm just going back and forth onto my castle just adding a bit more details some bricks showing through maybe the I guess the, uh, the paint or the facade just fell off so I'm just adding a bit more of the of the details on top of them and also just adding a bit more details on the sketch I already did, making some lines a little bit thicker, some shading here and there. I guess I'm just looking where I think a bit more details is needed. Also adding a bit more ink to some of the branches, making them a little bit thicker and a little bit also darker, looking like some branches are thick and some are thin. I've added a chimney at the top. That's something I did not draw on my sketch, but later on I decided to add that. And also just going in between the roof tiles just to make make it uneven. I don't want everything to be completely even. As I said, the more uneven and symmetrical you make it look, it will be more fitted to this idea. I've picked up a little bit of the black with the twist and then on top just adding some soft brown for the castle and a little bit of the black for the insides of the windows. You can make it look like maybe some light is turned on in the castle. I wanted to make it look like it's deserted. So a little bit more of the splatters with paint and a lot of water to make it look like puddles and then some details to the tree. I also painted a couple of, I don't know, those are bats or birds just where the tree is behind the tree and added a little bit of the violet to my castle, a little bit more of the black details here and there. And just doing some also shading with my watercolors. I also decided I want to add a little bit of the leaf orange where the bricks are showing through some splatters with black 
and also a bit more of the details to the windows with black. And some splatters with violet. And I left it to dry completely. And when it was dry, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more of the details with the ink pen. So I'm adding some grasses or something like that in the lower part, just scribbling there. And also the background was, I guess, too white for me. So I decided to add a little bit of the black to twist where you water down to the background. And with that, I'll be finishing off this illustration and this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You're going to give this one also a try. If you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment, let me know what you think. And if you haven't still, well, subscribe to my channel. There are many, many tutorials there, so I'm sure you will find something for yourself. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.